I uh, sort of promised myself not to react to any more of this stuff, drama, whatever. I mean, it just doesn't... All right, look, we'll just get to the point first. I mean, you, why why you even bring attention to the, you know, somebody this crazy is crazy. Um, and then to bring up this whole Timothy... It, it, this is, you know, you're doing... Well, he, you know, he would have liked that you, you know, are re-referencing him. And he loves probably, you know... He would love, he would love, the idea that you would call him a political crusader, you know, for a political cause. Uh, you know, let's not forget who this little fucker was. I mean, he, he was, he was, he killed innocent children deliberately because he was mad at the government because the government accidentally killed that crazy lunatic in Wacko. You know, remember the guy, you know, that, that Davinian guy, you know, with the, the, the war arsenal under his, um, you know, his, his plantation or whatever you want to call it, uh, who molested his own children. You remember, you remember him? That's who, that's the political cause. I mean, I can't even, I mean, what, what are you, you know, you, what are you, some sort of freedom fighter? I mean, come on! It's just this is just crazy, and so and I don't even understand. You know, what are you, what are you, what are you, what are you doing? I don't even understand this. I don't understand. You make this stupid, crazy video where you, um, you know, are trying to um, make contact with a person, and uh, you know, who who idolizes Timothy McVeigh, um, and you talk about it casually. You don't talk to it like, oh yeah, I gotta talk to her because she's completely insane and I might want to try to get her mental uh, help. No, you want to talk to her because she's hot um, or turns you on or whatever the f fuck that was. I don't even I don't even know what that other video was. And now you're, what, this cleans it all up? This makes it all better because now you've somehow put it into context and you've let us all know that you really do know that Timothy McVeigh was a fucking mass murderer that you know, as much as our whole fucking nation is hysterical about uh, bin Laden, guess what? Timothy McVeigh would have knocked down the, uh, <clears throat> the same two buildings in New York City if he could have engineered it. So he was a little bit stupider. I mean, he actually blew a building to non-existence. Uh, you know, but, you know, so, you know, in, in, in a sense, he is no more a lunatic or, or a threat to the United States of America than would be a bin Laden or anybody else. But why, why isn't he... You know, why don't, we, why don't we all know his name and why don't we all, you know, <clears throat> scared to death of his type and of the Marines that created him, you know, the army, the American army. Um, you know, we have this domestic lunatic and uh, domestic lunatics are okay. It's only the foreign lunatics we're worried about. Well, anyway, I mean, you're, this whole thing is just, you know, <clears throat> you know, let's understand it was a, a Christian lunatic on top of everything else that this whole thing is based on the death of a Christian lunatic. You know, he was mad about that other guy, the guy who was a complete racist, you know, who also got in trouble with the ATF, and the ATF accidentally shot his wife. Um, you know, and I'm not defending the ATF. I hate cops. I hate the whole military thing. Can't stand it. Uh, but let's get real. Uh, you don't sit there and negotiate with some asshole for weeks on end if you intend to kill him. I mean, come on. You know, obviously the government didn't try to kill either of these stupid jackasses. They sit there and negotiated with them for weeks to try to get them to uh, concede to arrest. And that's all there was to it. And, and it's just, you know, to, to, f to call this some sort of political cause, it's nothing political in this. The guy's a fucking lunatic. And this girl, uh, obviously, is a lunatic. And why you would want to bring attention to either one, why, you know, mimicking Timothy McVeigh, like I said, you know, just... I, you know, it makes me nauseous just saying his fucking name. I mean, you know, this is the, an atheist's worst nightmare. I mean, this guy it was so crazy, you know, the craziest of the Christians. And, and here you are, you know, giving him exactly what he would have wanted, attention. He had no life, he had nothing to lose, because he was just a miserable shithead who wanted to molest children. And... <laughs> And you're making them into something. What are you doing? You you just you get off this fucking bullshit with this stupid goddamn politics between all you people and all your covert emails and all the rest of this bullshit. 
man, you are just such whores for bullshit. And, and you know, I'm, I'm sitting here, I shouldn't even, yeah, this is, I'm stupid. I'm stupid to even watch your videos and I'm stupid for pressing the button here, okay? Because yes, and, and I'm new to this, I have to admit, I'm new to this place and so it's a little addictive and I've gotten a little caught up in it, all right? And so that's my excuse. What's your fucking excuse? You've been here a long time. You really should know that there's crazy people out there. I mean, you've seen them. You've seen these videos. Some of these people are just, you know, they have nothing going for them. Absolutely not. All they got is the computer. And you know that. And you're playing them. You're sitting there manipulating all this stuff just so you can, I don't, you know, well, whatever. I, you know, I, it's just, I, I mean, I'm just... It's like none of you people really believe in anything, do you? I mean, you can't have a really, truly, sincerely honest moment on this, through this medium. It is all this, you know, finding an advantage, finding some way to manipulate something. Can't just can't you have an honest argument? And and can't you do? I mean, like I said, how you? You're, there's no explanation for this. I mean, what what are you? You're like some god. Yes, you're just like God. You're playing some weird psych game. You know, where one minute you're, you're saying, doing one thing, and the next minute you do completely the opposite. And everybody's supposed to be able to figure all that out. We're all supposed to get the joke. I'm not getting it. And I, look, admittedly, some jokes go right over my head. And apparently, this one has gone right the fuck over my head. Because I can't find anything funny in it. I can't find anything... Well, yes, of course, there's some things funny in it. But, I mean, it's just... You know... Can't you give us a break, please? Please? I mean, obviously, I you know, any community of, of people is going to be dependent on the people who end up being, um, you know, for good reason or bad. I mean, obviously, in this popularity-driven world of the Internet where, you know, popularity drives popularity. You can figure that part out. You're a logical guy. So you know that once you're there, you know, it's going to be damn hard for you to lose that really 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 hard you're gonna to have to be so fucking lame to lose that popularity and that's the, this tragic truth of the world and then everybody's gonna focus on that person because everybody's gonna think that person is network and that person's gonna have the, the stuff and and yeah we all fall into that trap and like I said and some of this some of this popularity you you certainly fucking deserve because you're you're clever and you use language well uh, yeah, well, sometimes you just, you know, sometimes you don't. Um, but anyway, yeah, you have your moments. Uh, and nobody can take that away from you. And I certainly wouldn't take it away from you. Okay? You've got personality, as they say. But, uh, you know, there's just too much toxic waste, you know, tied to that personality. There's too much bullshit tied to it. And, and... You know, so that's it. I mean, I'm not going to extort you into responding to me, and I'm not certainly not going to think I even merit a response. Um, but uh, you know, you're confusing me, and I don't like it. And you know, just friendly. Uh, could you cut the fuck out? Thanks.